This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. Back to school can be exciting, but also an overwhelming time for students, parents, and even teachers. Whether students forget to check for homework assignments or miss class due to illness, students don't want to fall behind. Access to information and connecting with teachers and other students is just a click away with the help of smartphones and tablets. So to learn more about some back to school apps you need to download, we have Megan Weber from US Cellular here this morning to break it all down for us. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. So it's an exciting time for a lot of students but at the same time getting back into working things out and having homework assignments it can be overwhelming so absolutely we're gonna go ahead and talk about some apps which the first one I find pretty interesting but then after reading of how you can use it I was like that's a really good idea so we're gonna talk about Skype and FaceTime exactly so FaceTime is specifically for Apple products uh -huh. so like iPad mini iPad Air um, you can also find it on the iPhone 5s 5 and 4 so it's basically a video conferencing app, and Skype does the same thing. Mm -hmm. You download it on either Android or Apple. And it's a neat way for um, students to connect, so to be able to work virtually, parents to connect with students. Maybe you're away on that business trip and you still want to do the spelling bee um, prep. You can do that with your child. Mm -hmm. And then also uh, we've seen increasingly foreign exchange classrooms, so where we have a teacher maybe in um, Europe who has Skype and we have a teacher in America and then we can share the classrooms together. I like that a lot. Yeah. So the next one we're going to talk about is Teacher's Assistant Pro. What is that all about? So Teacher's Assistant Pro is really a way for teachers to manage the classroom. Now this app does have a cost so mm -hmm. on Android it's $3.99 and on Apple it's $5.99 and before I pay for an application I always want to do some research make sure I'm paying for something I'm actually going to use. Right. And um, so this is actually rated a top app by USA Today for teachers. Okay. Um, and what it allows them to do is they can actually track students, the class, um, make sure that they're recording those accolades maybe from the beginning mm -hmm. of the year, but then also any disciplinary issues. And it allows the teacher to customize for each child. Mm -hmm. um, what their story has been okay, for the, for the year. year. Mm -hmm. So kind of keep like a digital track how many times they've been absent or tardy or missed to turn in their homework or anything and so when it comes to the teacher parent conferences they can pull yeah. it right up on their tablet or even smartphone and be like Jane Smith this is what she ha has been doing all year round so exactly. I like that a lot. Yeah. So the next one we're going to talk about is notability. What is that all about? So I don't know what it was like when you were in high school, but for me, and <laughs> we notes, had to write down everything. <laughs> yes, and it was all pen and paper, and God forbid you spilled water because right. there went three hours of your life. Um, so <laughs> Notability is a really powerful note-taking application mm -hmm. that allows students, um, and I would say students from you know middle school all the way up into college, to capture information and share it digitally. So you have those notes there and then a friend missed class or you need to go back and review something from the beginning of the year because you have that big final. Everything's digital um, and really easy to keep track of. All right, and finally the last app that we're gonna take a look at is the Dropbox. Yes, so Dropbox is available on both Apple and Android um, interfaces. And with that, it allows you to do a couple of things. One, it's going to get those large documents off of your phone, mm -hmm. which is always something that we are passionate about. Mm -hmm. We want we want clean phones. Right. Um, but it also allows you to share information. So if you and I are working on a paper together, mm -hmm. I can upload my portion of the paper. You can edit it with your portion, and we can then combine, combine them. them and submit it together. Or if I have a family calendar for my family, I can then... Um, share it with everybody in my family and they can see it through Dropbox. That's really interesting. So my next question is, I know that a lot of people are doing back to school shopping mm -hmm. and they're trying to decide between the laptop, a tablet, or just a really high speed uh, smartphone. What mm -hmm. is your take on that and what should we look for if we do happen to buy a tablet? Is that is that like the popular thing right now? So US Cellular just conducted a study and I was uh, even just a little bit surprised but it, it looks like 74% of our households have at least one tablet. Mm -hmm. So really, that's a, a trend that we're seeing right now. And it's because tablets allow you to do so much mobily. Mm -hmm. um, and so really when we say you're looking at a tablet, you wanna make sure it's gonna meet all of those um, desires that you have. So I know at US Cellular, we carry both Android and Apple tablets. We like to ask questions, get to know our customers, right. and then we can recommend the best product or service for them. And the nice thing about the tablets as well is, I mean, their prices range from, I mean, you can get some 
tablets for $59 and you can get other tablets for $400 depending mm -hmm. on how fast you want it to be, how big you want it to be, and just whatever else you want to use it for. So Absolutely. Affordability is not something that should keep somebody from getting a tablet um, because we actually, I mean, we have plans where tablets are like $17 a right. month. So, it, you know, they, it really ranges um, and it's something that if people are interested in, you should stop by. We'd love to tell them more. All right. Well, thank you so much, Megan. What we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at heartlandconnection.com, and we'll also link up U.S. Cellular's information if you have any questions about any tablets or cell phones, as well as the apps we just reviewed. So thanks again for coming on. Thanks for having me. And we'll be right back.